Another angle pair that we're going to talk about are corresponding angles. And uh, two angles are corresponding angles if they have the same position. So um, let's talk about angle one's position, but we're now dealing up in this top section. Um, notice that angle one is in the top right position. So the corresponding angle down below would be down here because this is also in the top right position. We would say that angles one and two are corresponding. And as you change these around, if the one moves down, then the two moves down. So now they're both lower right. And let's move them again. Let's move one and now it's lower left and two is also lower left. So they would be corresponding. And if we move it up, we've got upper left and upper left. So you notice um, when we talked about alternate interior angles, there were only two pairs. Alternate exterior angles, there were two pairs. But with corresponding angles, there's going to be four pairs. Now, if you remember when we talked about alternate interior angles making a Z, um, corresponding angles will always make the letter F when you trace them. So sometimes, that F will be upside down and backwards, like in this case. Um, but as you trace them, you should still be able to recognize an F. So maybe you want to put um, an F next to your corresponding angles, because they should always make an F.